Hi guys, welcome again to Trackmind TV. It's such an amazing thing to have you again. This is Spotlight Show with Sonia. Thank you for tuning in today. We will be hosting someone who's really, really lovely, who's done this piece of art that is behind me here. I mean, this is really, really amazing. We are privileged as Trackmind TV to have something like this, which is very, very beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, Shalene. Welcome, Shalene. Thank you. How do you feel having your work paraded in front of us here, feeling very, you know, wonderful and beautiful. I feel so nice that my work is appreciated because I, I have done a lot of work, like, yes, and I'm happy. Well, well, this is clearly a lot of work and it is not just work, it is really, really, really beautiful work. So for someone who doesn't understand what's going on here, talk a little bit about what is it that you do. So I'm a string artist and basically it's art made uh, from wood mm -hmm. or MDF or board and then what is MDF for it's a type like of art. it's a type of a board oh it's yeah. okay oh it's a type Ooh, of a okay. board mm -hmm. so basically use nails or tacks tacks are small nails tiny nails okay yeah and then you hammer them on the board and then you string it all right. Yeah. So there's a lot of handwork there. Yeah. Hammer, string. Okay. So you trace them before you do it? Yeah, I normally trace them on the board. And then now I hammer the nails on the outline. Which means you're also a good artist. You can draw well. Yeah, I'm also an artist. Okay. Well, you're an artist, string artist and drawer, painter. Okay. Whatever. So at what age did you discover you can do string art? I was around 17 because it was, it was after Form 4. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you've been doing this since after high school? Yes. Okay. Wow. All right. This is, this is very, very interesting. So how did you begin? How was it starting off? Uh, okay. This, I, I wanted to do something instead of being idle for the whole of the nine months that I was at home. Yeah. So I didn't know what to do yet. Mm -hmm. But there's this friend of mine, he also does string art. He's the one who introduced me to it. Give a shout out to him. Yeah, he's called Steve. Okay, thank you, Steve. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. So he introduced me to it. So at first I was reluctant because it involves a lot of woodwork. Yeah, and I was I like, I know, mm -hmm. like other people mm -hmm. but then i got interested and i went to check for tutorials on youtube okay and there's this lady who was doing it she's called maria kavaka uh -huh. so the lady was doing such a nice job and i was like okay if a lady can do it then i can do it too and that's how i started that's a very very good challenge and we are grateful did you say her name was miriam Mary, Mary. Maria, Maria Kavaka. Maria Kavaka. Yes. I really hope she feels good that she's given her that shout out, that she knows she's inspiring people out here as a lady. All right. So when you started off, how was it not that you weren't very willing to begin it at first? It was challenging. Mm. It was challenging, especially because it involves a lot of hammering. So I will danger myself. I can imagine. <laughs> yes. And also... Uh, her tutorials, they involved a lot of 3D designs. Okay. And I didn't want to do 3D designs. I wanted to do names and logos. So I had to figure out how to know how to string. Nobody does a tutorial on that. So I had to teach myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it took roughly two months to perfect the art so that I started doing it as a business. Now. You are a quick learner. I don't know how long it would have taken me. <sighs> This is really, really, really lovely. Have you thought of ever putting a tutorial out there for people who are interested? Yes, I've thought about that. Mm -hmm. Have you tried it? Not yet. Okay. What's holding you back? Uh, I don't like social media stuff, but I'll try. Okay, you can. I think that people I see putting stuff out there. Or you can engage me, I mean. I, mean, I, I do social media, so you can talk to me, come and do it together. But I think it would be really nice, especially that you mentioned that you don't see it a lot out there. So for people who would be interested to do this, which is really, it's actually very, very amazing. I think you should. I think you should actually think about it. I'll think about it. So you mentioned you had started doing this after school. So you took some time and learned it and then 
campus came. Yes. So when campus came, was it any different or did just things continue as usual? I had plans of quitting, mm -hmm. but my parents told me to go on with it because uh, they also saw that it's really nice mm -hmm. and I should keep doing it to keep myself busy. So I didn't do it that much at the start. Okay. But as I continued to study, people were like, I want, I want to make an order, I want to make an order. So I just continued doing it. Thank God for supportive friends and family. I mean, if it was someone else out there, I'd be like, and I was so mad. Yeah. But it's really, really nice that you have people who are supporting you. That's really lovely. So what inspires the colors that you do? Or is it the people who make orders that, you know, put it out there like I want this and this and this color? Yeah. Okay. So when someone makes an order, basically they'll give me a logo or names they want and the colors. Okay. So I'll just do what they want. Have you ever had anyone buying it randomly without it, you know, just random with no design or anything? They just like it and they want to buy it. If I want to buy this that you're holding, it's really, is this a parrot? Yeah, it's a parrot. So if I want to buy, like, are there those times where someone doesn't have any inspiration, they just like it and they want to order it? Yes. Okay. That has happened just once. Just I, once. Yeah, because I normally do them on order. I just okay. don't do, yeah, and then keep them. Oh, Unless I'm nice. doing it for myself. <laughs> what are your favorite colors? My favorite color is blue. Blue? Yeah. I thought she would say black, but <laughs> that's just fine. So you use this to get money on your own? Yes. It's like a side hustle. Yeah. So you're doing it with school. Mm -hmm. So how is balancing all of it coming? Mm, it's quite tricky. Mm -hmm. But I'm managing because I don't get I don't get orders too often okay. nowadays. Because right. I stopped advertising a lot because of also school. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. Right. So I normally advertise during the holidays. Yeah. So roughly how long does it take you to put something together? Uh, it depends. If it's not an intricate design, I will take at most two days. At most two days. And if it is intricate? <laughs> I will do uh, maybe four days. Four days. Depending a month, depending on my schedule. Okay. Wow. Have you ever thought of telling people that you teach people how to do this. I think you also get money. Your work is just to sit there as an instructor. And I see. Apana. And that end. Have you ever thought of doing that? I would, but now time. Time is ah. the problem, yeah. Because okay. I'm doing a very demanding course. All right. So what inspires you to do this? What makes it, as much as it is hard and takes a lot of time, what keeps you going as you're working on it? Um, I really love doing art. Like, okay. it makes me feel complete. Okay. Yeah, when I'm stressed out, it's my way out. You're not those people who stress clean? No, Thank I stress God. art. Ah, okay. It's good to know people who do other things when they are stressed, not just clean. Guys, I am a clean person. I'm just saying. It's hectic. Yeah, and it's also a way of... You know, art expresses how you feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it also, like when somebody tells me, make for me something, I feel, I feel so nice. At sometimes, I don't want to give them, like, Nataku <laughs> Bakunayo. <laughs> well, yeah. that, is, that is a lot of passion put into it, which is really, really lovely. Ah, very, very, very admirable. So, so far, what would you say has been your greatest achievement working on string art? Um, I will say my greatest ach achievement, uh, it was a logo I did for a certain company. Mm -hmm. It was a very big one. And it was a very hard design. I had never done it before. Mm -hmm. So I think that stands out to be my greatest achievement. Okay. Yeah. And it was to be put on the ceiling so that was kind of different. It was put on the ceiling. Have you seen it on the ceiling? Like, it was. It was to be put on the ceiling. Like when they called me, they told me, "Apa ko ceiling yetu, we want your art. We just look up and we see it." How did you feel about yourself? I felt nice. <laughs> yeah, that must be really nice. Yeah. So that was my greatest achievement. Okay.
Yeah, you must be proud of yourself. Even me, I'm proud of you already. Okay. So what do you think is something that probably is hindering your success? Because, for example, how much would... Let's talk about this one because it's really lovely. I have to be very careful. Guys, look at this. How marvelous is this work? Just look at the details. And this is not... Wow. So guys, look at how beautiful this is. Firstly, you should buy. You should also buy for me. But, so something like this is really, really, really amazing. So how much would it go for if someone would want to buy it? I will sell it at 2000 At 2000 Yeah. Okay. So this was inspired by someone or this was just your own work of art? Just for yourself? I saw a stencil on Pinterest and uh, I... I decided to do a string at on it. This is really, really, really amazing, guys. Well, we handle it with care because someone might decide to buy it. So and something that you would say has been a challenge working with it in school. Like, do you get people who talk you down on it, who tell you not to do it or give you reasons not to continue? No, I've never... Even other string artists who are doing the same, they're very supportive. Okay. Yeah. As much as I've never met some of them, we only talk on IG DMs. Mm -hmm. They're very supportive. Like you'll ask, okay, where did you get this material? And they'll tell you. If you don't know how to go about a design, they'll send you a tutorial. Mm -hmm. So I have supportive friends and supportive family. You are very lucky. You are one really, really lucky, lucky lady. Have you ever thought of putting your work up in an art gallery? No. Why not? I don't know, most of the time it's just for fun. This is for fun. So we can imagine if you're doing it seriously, like work, work, how much you would do. Right now it's just for fun, like if little now when someone wants to buy, I don't want to go on a loss, mm. so I'll just sell it. But it's mostly for fun, I didn't, I didn't have in my mind like it would be a very big business. Okay. Wow. So how many more years until you finish school so that you can start doing this for us? Six a lot. Years. Okay. Guys, you'll have to wait for six years. But don't worry, it's not a lot on, it's not a long time. We just have to wait for the president to come in and finish his term. And then you know, probably we can consider. So if you have something, you either talk now or hold your peace for six years. Do you feel intimidated by other string artists? No. You don't? No. But you found supportive people? Yes. That's really nice. Even my fellow string artists. Even the one who introduced me to it still helps me even now. He's my mentor. Okay. And I look up to him a lot. That's nice. What do you like about their work of art? Mm. Because, of course, everyone has a different touch, right? Yeah. So what do you like about what they do? Mm -hmm. Well, they do different, at least, I think, they do different designs from me, but see Sana. Okay. Yeah, and I love, he's so neat, like his strings are neat, and he's the one who, sh who helped me know how to string neatly. Yeah, okay. so I liked his stringing. Yes, and also the way he... I don't know what to call it. His woodwork is top notch. Okay. Yes. This is a lot of geometry involved here. Mm -hmm. How does it feel putting into practice something you learned in primary school? It feels nice. <laughs> At least it didn't go to waste. Yeah. Like this one, I used, I literally used a protractor, a compass, a divider. Some square. people have forgotten those things. Woo. Wow. Wow, this is really, really, really lovely. So. You've said that this is things that you do for fun when you're stressed out and everything. So what should you say out of all this is your favorite piece of art and why? That's my favorite. Let me show it to everyone so that we can see it well. Guys, this is her favorite piece of art. Yeah, and I feel so bad leaving it. Ah! <laughs> should make another one for yourself or take a photo. And then, you know, you always remember that she did something lovely. Yeah, I really had fun doing it. I finished it yesterday night. So how, how, why do you like it so much? 
the colors are nice. The way mm -hmm. I stringed it is close to perfect. Okay. So there's a, a little more perfect than this. Yes. Oh, how lovely. Okay. Uh, it was the first time I used paint, paint together with stringing. So this is the, the points of paint here and here. Okay. All right. Did you have any messy work while you were working on it? Yes. It did? Yeah, up around the tea. Around the tea? Yeah. But nobody would even notice it's so neat. This is this is lovely, guys. You should give her your money if she's willing to take it before six years are over. So you like it more because you put a lot a lot more work on it. Okay. I like a challenge. Oh, okay. So we should give you more challenges. Mm. Absolutely. Guys, if you have logos that you need designed. She's up to task. She's ready to take up any challenge. You should definitely, definitely, definitely engage her. So what do you think you will do? Like, do you have a future plan for string art for yourself? Yeah. Currently, I am working on another design, mm -hmm. which is hard because it, it uses programming. Wow. Yeah, and I hope it will work out. <laughs> You well, in it, when it works out, you should definitely involve us in it. See how it goes and tell us the intricate details. <laughs> Putting programming together with geometry. Yeah. Wow, this is really, really lovely. So do you feel like this string art answers to your life purpose? It's part of it. It's part of it. Yeah, but okay. it's, not, it's not in the full, sen full center of my life's purpose. But it's 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 there. It's just there. <laughs> but that's really really nice. When you were a child, you tried string art before. You just used to draw. No, no, I used to draw. Okay. I used to draw portraits of people. Okay, my family members. So when the rest of us were tracing maps of Africa and maps of Kenya, that was not your struggle. No, no, no. I used to I used to draw people. I used to draw. You see, when in your when you're in primary school and the science teacher tells you to draw something, I used to draw for people. Like Did they give you money? No. No, they should have given you money. That's our whole business. You should go back and ask your classmates to give you money. I didn't have that business mind back then. It was just for fun. Wow. That's a lot of work for fun, guys. You should, you should do it. There's some of you that I'm going to tag. That you should definitely consider doing some things for fun, for me, for pleasure. I don't mind. But that's really, really nice. So... If people want to look for you or see some of the things that you have, people who would like to connect to you, where should they find you? Mm, I am on IG. You're at, on IG? Yeah, at Sierra Strings. Okay. Sierra. Why Sierra? What's the meaning of Sierra? That's a name I gave myself when I was in class 8. Okay. Yes. What's a nickname from school? No, it's not a nickname. Okay. Yeah. Why not? Okay, never mind. <laughs> right, Sierra. Sierra is a good, good name. Yes. So you've said you're uh, on IG at Sierra. Sierra? Sierra underscore strings. Sierra underscore strings. So when you put up your stuff, do you put them up with price tags or you ask people to order beforehand? I don't put the price tags. I just ask them to order. Uh -huh. There's a time. There's a time uh, people are joking about people who ask you to inbox for price. Yes. <laughs> They never send you such kind of a thing. No, no. Ah, all right. You have really good friends. This, this, they were my friends. Do you have any regrets doing string art? No, I don't have. You don't have? Yeah. But I've made mistakes before. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm glad I did because I learned. Yeah, I learned from them. But I don't regret any. Okay. So which was one of that mistake that really turned your life around? <laughs> Turning around. I mean, in, t in terms of the art and everything. Uh, there was a time, it was, it was in last year. Mm -hmm. So I was given a, I was given names to do, mm -hmm. a father and a daughter, and I messed up the father's name. Okay. Like diff putting up spellings differently or yeah, different letters? Yeah, different spelling. Mm -hmm. It was Byron and I wrote Brian. So I had to mend it and it was going the same day, but no one noticed. The power of an artist is to mend their mistakes and no one will notice. Wow. 
That's really, really, really nice. I think the time when I was in school, they mentioned, for example, when you're preparing a meal for someone and then you realize, maybe when you're making bread and then you realize it's burnt and you so you have to modify it. So by the time you're presenting it to the table, it doesn't look burnt. Yeah. It's really, really interesting. Wow. All right. So I want to give you a challenge. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? I'm nervous, but... It's, it's, it can't be anything big. I'm okay. ready. You're ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know whether to be biased or not. I mean, I could ask you to draw me. <laughs> but no. So I want you to tell us one story. A story about? A story about a piece of art that you have done that was... How do I say? That really, when someone, when you presented it to the person, it really moved them and tell us about that piece of art no it can't be this one don't look no, at no, this no, one no. I'm, I'm trying to remember okay because a lot of times i don't deliver them myself mm -hmm. yeah. okay. okay i remember this one okay i looked for it thank god it's come <laughs> Yeah, it's a, I, I did a, I did names for mm. a certain lady. She's a lawyer. Okay. Yeah, and I took it to her office. And she was so marveled because it was very big and it had it had names of her four kids. Okay. So you can imagine how big it was. And the names are like seven letters, six letters. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I, I took and I took a month to do it because of school and stuff. Mm -hmm. So she was wowed. Everybody who I passed was like, hey, it looks nice. You know, then when Nikitoka kwa nyumba, like hapo chini, watu wananiona, kwa gari, everyone is seeing it. They're like, they're, they, they say it looks nice. And then when I gave it to her, she, uh, she was so happy. Okay. Yeah, and I felt so nice. Okay. That's nice, that's really lucky. Did any of those people who are marvel at what you do ask you to do something for them? No. They didn't? No. They were just happy? Yeah, they were just happy. Like, wow, I have seen something wonderful. Yes. Wow, okay, let me continue the business. No, that's not right. Anyway, if there's someone out there who would want to begin or has begun and they're not sure how to go about it, just look out to them and tell them something. Uh, my advice to any string artist who wants to start it's uh, this art it just requires passion patience and commitment yeah okay. and practice <laughs> practice <laughs> a lot of practice a lot of practice <laughs> a lot of practice okay so if they said if they would want to reach you they look at look for you at sierra strings sierra sierra strings okay yes all right. And if they make orders, will you make it for them? People here who have money, they just want to throw money at good work. Gladly. <laughs> I would gladly. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us today. It has been really, really lovely having you. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in up to this point in time. Of course, it's so much of an honor. You should like this video because it is lovely and amazing. Because we are lovely and we are amazing. And then you should also share it to other people if you have someone who you know is probably wants to learn something or anything, let them reach out to Charlene here. Let us grow what she is doing and support her and support every other person out there who is doing something, putting their work and their commitment to it. Of course, subscribe to the channel and comment and let us know what you think about this. It has been awesome, awesome, awesome having you around. My name is Sonia and thank you. See you next time at another Spotlight show.